Are you or a loved one suffering from depression? Have your symptoms become so significant that it's controlling your life and making it unbearable? Has your doctor recommended you to take Prozac or the generic version of Fluoxetine? Are you needing help and are concerned about possible side effects? If so, then this is the video for you. Keep watching to learn a little bit more about what to watch out for and how this medication can be a help to you. Welcome to Family Med. I'm Dr. Richardson and this is your home for practical and accurate information to help your family make healthy decisions. This is a channel that focuses on bringing better health to your home. On today's episode, we're going to be going over a common antidepressant named fluoxetine, or more commonly referred to as Prozac. Fluoxetine is a generic version of Prozac, which has been around in the United States since 1987. Prozac is a medication that is used most commonly to treat clinical depression but it's also used to treat conditions such as anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, and severe PMS. It's in the class of medications that we call SSRIs, or Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. In fact, it, this was the first SSRI in the market here in the United States. These are a group of medications that target the hormone serotonin and help decrease how rapidly it is broken down in the nerves, thus keeping your serotonin levels higher. It's one of the vital chemicals or neurotransmitters that help regulate a lot of the functions of the body like mood, social behavior, appetite, and digestion, sleep, memory, and one of other things. It's one of the chemicals that plays a big role in depression and anxiety in your overall mental health. Now when you're suffering from depression or anxiety, or there are other conditions that I mentioned earlier, in addition to things like eating healthy and exercise, counseling and therapy, and getting plenty of sleep, Targeting these chemicals in the brain has been found to be very helpful in allowing people to resume a normal life when they're battling with these conditions. You don't have to live with these conditions controlling your life. Go see your doctor so you can get an accurate diagnosis and figure out a good treatment plan for you. Remember, depression, anxiety, OCD, and any other mental health disease are as real of a medical condition as diabetes or high blood pressure. And you shouldn't feel any different about treating these conditions than you would any other disease. Okay, so you've talked to your doctor, and you both have decided that for your symptoms, Prozac is going to be part of your treatment plan. What should you expect? Well, first of all, it comes in a pill of doses of 10, 20, 40, and 60 milligrams. It comes in a delayed release formulation that is a 90 milligram pill that you take once a week. And it also comes in a liquid form. Now, the most common doses range from 20 to 60 milligrams daily, but you can go up to about 80 milligrams a day. Now it's important to remember that this is the kind of medication that you need to take daily if you're going to be on it. Most SSRIs, like Prozac, take a couple weeks to start noticing a difference. Now in general, this is certainly true with Prozac. In fact, out of the most common medications that are given for depression, this one probably takes a little bit longer to start working. Typically by four to six weeks though, you should know how well this medication is going to work for you. Now that may sound like a reason not to take it for some, and certainly that could be the case. One of the benefits of medication, though, is that just as it's slow to get into the system, it's also slow to get out of it. After being on these medications for several weeks, you don't want to stop them all of a sudden. But out of all the antidepressant medications, Prozac is the one most forgiving if you miss doses. You can get some withdrawal symptoms by stopping it all of a sudden, but it usually takes a little bit longer for this to be noticed on Prozac. Most doctors recommend that if the medication is working well, you take it for at least six months before you think about stopping it. Stopping it sooner than that because you feel like your depression is gone increases your risk for having your symptoms return. If you feel like it's something that is making a big difference in your life and you want to continue it longer than the six months, then it's safe to do so. I have patients that have decided that they just need to stay on it for years and that works for them. So what kind of side effects should you look out for? Well, as with any medication, you can find a big list of side effects that will be listed on the paperwork from your pharmacist. But sometimes these lists can be intimidating. Remember, in the case of Prozac, most people tolerate it just fine. I rarely have patients on it that want to stop due to significant side effects. However, any medication has the potential to have some side effects. Now, some of the common ones that we see with Prozac would be something such as headaches, nausea, tiredness, or difficulty sleeping. Maybe some dry mouth or constipation, diarrhea, heartburn or abdominal pain. Now these type of symptoms tend to be short-lived in most people. And oftentimes by just modifying when you take it or by taking it with food, you can improve or even avoid a lot of them. 
Usually with time though, they start to get better on their own. Now one area that concerns a lot of people is the effect that antidepressants can have on your intimate relations. This can be a known problem with most antidepressants, and it definitely can be a problem with Prozac. It doesn't happen to everybody, but all of all the side effects I hear about from patients, this is probably the most common. It can affect both women and men. So, if it's working though for your depression or your other symptoms you're having, don't despair, because there are some things that we can do to work with the problem. So don't stop it until you talk to your doctor if that is a concern. Probably the most common reason I have somebody stop this or any antidepressant medication though, is that they, they just didn't like the way it made them feel. It may help with their depression or anxiety, so they don't feel sad anymore, but they don't feel happy either. That certainly isn't the goal of this kind of treatment. Our goal is to help lift you up out of that hole that you're in and help you see that life is doable again. If we turn you into a zombie and you're either happy or sad, we're not doing any favors. We still want you to be happy when you're supposed to be happy and sad when you're supposed to be sad. So if you're noticing things like that, then talk to your doctor about other options that are out there. Now there are some rare side effects you need to pay a little more close attention to though. This is not an exhaustive list, however it's important to know that first, all antidepressant medication, including fluoxetine, have the risk of making your symptoms worse at first. You may be feeling re you know, really down right now, but if all of a sudden your depression and anxiety get worse, you start having suicidal thoughts, you need to be in contact with your doctor and get help. I always recommend when starting these kinds of medications that you can find in somebody you trust and tell them you're taking it. Let them know about these risks so they can help you recognize what is happening and assist you in getting the help you need. Other rare side effects can be certain heart arrhythmias, an increased risk of bleeding, electrolyte disturbances, severe skin rashes, and something called serotonin syndrome, where your body gets too much serotonin. This is very rare, but it can present with symptoms like agitation, confusing, rapid heart rate and high blood pressure, dilated pupils, loss of muscle coordination, muscle rigidity, diarrhea, and heavy sweat. If you think this is happening to you, get into your doctor or the emergency room right away. The worst part about discussing the side effects of medications is scaring you away from taking them. It's important to keep the perspective that the vast majority of people taking fluoxetine do really well with minimal to no side effects. So, if you're deciding not to take a medication like this due to a fear of having a very rare side effect, you can potentially be robbing yourself from an important tool in treating this disease. Remember, it's important to keep the perspective that if you're having a problem with the medication, you don't need to stay on it. Prozac is one of a dozen or more medications that all work just a little bit different and may be better fit for you. Depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions can be very debilitating. They are as real as any other medical condition out there. And when you have true clinical depression, taking something like Prozac can be a life-altering step. I'm always amazed at what significant difference this medication has had in the life of my patients. It's certainly not for everybody, and yeah, there are a lot of other non-medications out there that may work for you. But if, however, you and your doctor feel that this is the best option for your treatment plan, you now have a good foundation of knowledge of what to expect, what kind of side effects to watch for. And having that information can be really powerful in your mind. This certainly isn't an all-inclusive and in-depth discussion of everything that could be discussed regarding Prozac. That's not what I'm trying to do here. My purpose in sharing this information is to help give information that you can think about and discuss with your own doctor. So please, don't take this as direct medical advice. Take everything you learned today and discuss it with your own doctor and how it applies to you in your own situation. If you found this information to be helpful, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. I also have a lot of other videos on different health topics out there, so either click here or here to keep learning. And if your health is important to you, consider subscribing. And also hit that notification button so you don't miss out on any of our other content. So until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Richardson. And remember to take care of your body, because it's the only way to